Hi and welcome and welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at the NLF52 series. We've uh, we had uh, in the earlier video take a look at the NLF51 series, and now we'll move on to the next series in the NLF5 development. Okay, so. In the NLF52 series, there are seven SOCs that we can arrange in four, in three categories. The first one. In the first category, we have the NLF52832, the NLF52810, and the NLF52805. Looking at the specs, they all feature a Cortex M4 based MCU, clock at 64 megahertz. We do have the FPU support, but only and then on, on the NF5832. Uh, in the flash, the minimum flash size is 192. The maximum is uh, 512. For the RAM, the minimum is two, the minimum is 24 kilobyte, and the maximum is 64 kilobyte of RAM. They all have a 2.4 GHz transceiver, 2 mega. 2 megabytes per second and 1 megabytes per second as a data mode transfer as data transfer modes Bluetooth low energy, low energy up to the 5.2 version Bluetooth we also have the Bluetooth mesh but only on the NLF5832 we have the TX power, the tra maximum transmission power of uh, up to plus 4 dBm uh, for all of them we also have a 128-bit E advanced encryption system for all we for the peripherals we have UART, SPI and the two wire interface for all of them but in the NF5832 we also have the PDM uh, yes for the NF5832 and the NF5810 we have also the PDM and the PWM uh, and, the I, and we also have the I squared S, but only on the NLA5832. For the ADC resolution, we have a maximum of 12 bit for all of them. Uh, and we also have the NLA5832, in the NLA5832 the NFC A type support. Okay, so. That's it for the for the SOCs key feature spec. You can look at the full data sheet in the in the written tutorial version. I have a link in the I have added links to that in the in the tutorial. Okay, now we move on to the to the development board. Okay, so de to develop application for the above SOCs, you're gonna need the NLF52 development kit. It's PC and I have it's PC 140 the onboard SOC is the NLF5832 and this one you also have the the NFCA the PWN, the PTM, the I2S, the Bluetooth mesh support and a lot of uh, flash and RAM compared to the other SOCs in the same category okay yeah and so for the, the SOC supported are all the above we talked about and this is your de the development kit so this is the G-Link debugger, this is this one, the onboard debugger, so you don't need any uh, external debugger to upload or debug your application. And this is the SOC, this is the NLF51, this is the NLF52832, this is uh, the four user programmable buttons, and this is the four LEDs to come with. This is the NFC connector, and this is the boot rotate pin, and this is the switch, on off switch. And this is the USB connector they connected to, to program it with the uh, with the PC. This is the debug out port. This is the debug in port. And all these are the the SOC pins. Also here, and we have the power pins here. Okay, let's move on to the next category, which we have in where we have. The NLF52832 and the NLF52820. Looking at the, uh, the specs, they all feature a 64 megahertz IRM Cortex M4 based. Uh, we also have 
and if you see for the bus only on the NFP to eight three two. For the flash, the minimum flash is uh, two hundred and fifty six on the NFP to eight twenty, and the maximum is five hundred and twelve kilobyte of flash. On the NFP to eight thirty two. For the RAM, the minimum RAM is the thirty two kilobytes on the NFP to eight twenty, and the maximum is one hundred twenty eight kilobytes of RAM in the NFP to eight thirty two. For the data mode transfer, we have 2 megabytes per second, 1 megabyte per second, and the long range. Okay, for the Bluetooth low energy, yes, we have the Bluetooth 5.2 support. We have also the Bluetooth direction finding, which is a, a feature of the Bluetooth 5. Okay, we also have the Bluetooth mesh for both, thread, Zigbee, also both, and a maximum of transmission power of of up to plus 8 dBm. We also have the 128-bit advanced, uh, advanced encryption system with the CCM mode, but only on the NFP2 On the NFP2 without we, we have the same encryption, but without the CCM mode. For the peripherals, we have the UART, SPI, two-wire interface on both, but in the NFP2 we have the PW, PDM. The PDM PWM, I squared S, and high speed SPI. In the other side, in the in the NFC 820, we have an additional peripheral, which is the quad decoder, but we don't have the high speed SPI and the I squared S and the PWM and the PG and the PGM. Yes, we don't have it there. For the ADC, we have a maximum of 10 bit resolution on both, not mentioned there. Uh, the NFC only on the NF52 832 USB point 2 for speed on both on both the NF52 832 and the NF52 820 uh, we also have uh, here we have the uh, in the NF52 820 the extended temperature range from uh, is for the industrial use and this is where also we have the supply voltage on both the 1.7 to 5.5 volt about you know for the specs for the full spec and the data sheet of these SOCs please check the the link in the tutorial in the description I have included all the data sheet links for all these SOCs okay now I need to move on to development board so the, to develop application for the above SOCs you're gonna need the NNF8232 development kit it's PC, uh, PC number is 100 is the 10 100 the onboard SOC then is the NNF8232 to this one you see you all have the the NFC the all the peripherals available in this category and a max a lot of flash and the RAM the maximum flash and the RAM in this category also the FPU support in the CPU okay so the NF is also supported all the above the two and yes we have a, we have an we have a onboard debugger this is the jailing this one this is the debugger and this is the SOC the NFC 8232 this is the user programmer buttons this is the NFC connector this is the LEDs onboard LEDs and this is the pins the SOC pins exposed all these we have a lot of pins okay and this is the debug output this is there's also a debug input this one this is the on off switch and this is the receipt button. This is the the USB the uh, the USB connected to the G, to the, the onboard onboard debugger the JLN. This one you use it you visit you you'll use this one to debug your uh, application. And this is another USB port. This is the NRF USB. This is connected directly to the SOC. This is one point for the USB uh, full speed two point oh. Okay, so this is so. This is where you will be testing your uh, your applications such as the keyboard, the wired keyboard or the wired mouse, like the head. Okay, now let's move on to the, to the other category, which features the NRF52H40 and the NRF52H11. Looking at the specs, we all have a 64 megahertz IIM Cortex M4 on both, but in the NRF52H40 we have the we have also the FPU support. Flash minimum flash is 192 kilobytes in the NFP2811. And the maximum flash is 1 megabyte. It's on the NFP2840. A minimum uh, a RAM. 
a minimum RAM of 24 kilobytes in the Info 11 and a maximum RAM of 256 kilobytes in the NL Info 840. For the data modes, we have 2 megabytes per second, 1 megabyte per second, and long range on both. A Bluetooth low energy up to 5.2. Uh, Bluetooth mesh only on the NFSU 840. We have the thread on both. Zigbee only on the NFSU 840. And for the transmission power, we have a plus 8 dBm on the NFSU 840. And just a plus 4 dBm. Uh, on the NFS2 H11. For the encryption, we have a 128 bit advanced encryption system on the boat, but on the NFS2 H40, we have a CCM mode also. But added to that, we also have the, the other encryption, the RMs, correct yourself, 210 on the NFS2 H40. For the peripherals, we have onboard DUART, SPI, two wire interface. PGM and PWM, but in the review H40 we have also the I squared S, the quad SPI. Yes. Uh, for the IDC we have a maximum of 12 bit ADC. They all have a 20 a 12 bit ADC resolution. We have also the USB. We have the NFC only on the NFC H40. Okay, now let's move on to development boards. For the development board, the first one we have is the NFC 840 development kit. Its PC is 156, and the onboard SOC is the NFC 840. This is your, the SOC. This is the JLink debugger. This one. Debug out port, the debug in port, the USB for the debugging and the flashing of the firmware, and this is the NFC USB. This is the uh, user programmer buttons. This is the NFC uh, plug co or connector, and this is also an additional chip on this on the on the board, which is the this is a flash memory added to the board. So in case you need some flash, this is connected to to the, to the quad SPI to the SOC. Okay, so this is the on/off switch, both receipt pin, and that's it. The next development board is the dongle, the NL52 the, the NL dongle, is PC and is 159, the only one is the NL52 H40, and it's this one. This, please note, uh, for this development board, dongle, it doesn't have an onboard debugger, so the programming is done through the USB using the NNF Connect desktop app. That's it for the development boards. Now we'll move on to the software. The first one you need to get is the NA5 SDK. So for the NA5 SDK, you j you move to the, to the head over to the to, to its download page and downloads and move on. And the latest version now is 17, and you need to get the latest version. To have the, all the, the available features, so just hit that, fill out, and you can select it. And then we want to the, the, the download the page and the download files. Zip. Those are the first zip files are the f are for the for the soft devices for the Bluetooth stack. And this is the NLA5 SDK. This is the NLA5 SDK for the zip file. So we download all the all the all the all these files. The next software you need or tool is a toolchain ID. So the latest uh, version of the near 5 SDK support four toolchains. The first one is the RMGCC, second ER, third Kyle, and the last one is Sigar. For the toolchains, it is recommended to use the Sigar toolchain. This is in case you you are not already using other toolchains like you're using Kyle and you, you have already a paid license or AR or you're using the RM or you are very fam familiar with the RMGC. If not, you can use the Sigur toolchain. The good thing about Sigur is that they offer the good thing about uh, Sigur is that they offer a free commercial license just for the use which Nordic products. 
so you can use this tool chain for free for commercial use next one next one is the NLF command line tools please get, get this one get the latest version for your, for your operating system and it's like now it's latest version is the 10.9.0 you just select the OS here for me it's Windows 64 and you, uh, you, you use that link here to download it the next one is the NLF connect for desktop yes this one is a uh, it's a desktop application you need and you need to download the latest version here to the downloads section and select your uh, OS here and download it using this link okay the next tool is is you need to get a belly explorer mobile app this is very handy uh, in building uh, Bluetooth low energy based applications so you can test your services and characteristics okay that's it for this tutorial hope it helps and see you in the next one thanks for watching